Buckner, some tea with Lady T. Love her. But first, let's talk about second chances. This segment sponsored by the Living Legacy Foundation. Okay, guys, a second chance at life can mean infinite hope and possibilities. But where does that opportunity live? Our friends Latrice and Jay from The Living Legacy are here to tell us more about second chances. How are you guys doing? Great. Always a pleasure yeah, when you guys you. come morning. on our show. <laughs> yes, I love it. So talk to us about Living Legacy Foundation right here in Maryland. Um, Living Legacy Foundation is the organ procurement organization for the state of Maryland. We cover most of Maryland except for PG Charles and Montgomery County. Mm -hmm. And basically, our most important role is saving lives of those waiting on the waiting list. We have about 3,400 people here in Maryland waiting for a life-saving organ transplant. Wow, so let's talk about your guys' roles. So um, I'm the community outreach specialist, and mm -hmm. I go out into the community, talk to people about the importance of organ and tissue donation, dispelling those myths. A lot of people have myths that they believe about organ donation. And I'm a recipient. So I received in January of 2015 a liver. Mm. Um, unlike what Living Legacy does, I'm a living, um, don't, I had a living donor, wow. so it was a gift given to me by somebody who's still with us, wow. and so I'm here today because of that. And Absolutely. Even I, my job is to just kind of teach people and help and get people to donate. Yeah, so you talk yeah. about teach people. Why is it so important for us to like change that conversation? Because not everybody is open-minded when it comes to this topic. Well, Latrice it, talked about myth. I think that's yeah. A, yeah. an important thing. Mm -hmm. um, here in Maryland, there's a law that every death that occurs gets reported to the organ procurement organization. And we just feel like people having that education before that tragic moment helps them make a better decision if that individual hasn't decided themselves to become an organ donor. At the time of their death, their family can make that decision for them. And a lot of times we hear donor families just saying, we don't know what they would have wanted. Yeah. If they would have known, it would have made that decision easier. And we have a hard time talking about end of life decisions. And so we have to start getting comfortable with that. Absolutely. Having that open flow of communication communication mm -hmm. is so imperative yeah. in your experience. I mean, look at you now, King. Yeah, I'm doing things. well. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy where I am and uh, living life. We we're just talking about that. Every day is absolutely a blessing. So how has your, you know, just entire philosophy on life changed after this experience? I'd like to say it was huge. Mm. I mean, at, at, the, at the beginning, it certainly was huge. Every day, just a, an amazing gift. The nice thing is that I think for many of us, we do flow back into a regular kind of life. Um, yeah. You know, we, I, I'm always thankful, but it's not always the forethought of my life these exactly. days. I, I just get to be who I am, and I'm thankful to be that. Um, so That's a big thing. Yeah. So what is your favorite thing about advocating for when it comes to, you know, the organ eye as well as tissue donation? I enjoy meeting the people in the community, hearing their stories, sharing their stories. People are very open with... Um, sharing their um, their beliefs mm -hmm. and so just helping them understand and it's always rewarding when someone say okay give me that form I'm going to sign up because I thought that you know what I saw on Grey's Anatomy was yeah. true so, <laughs> so that's always like a, a blessing to once somebody comes around and, um, and really you know takes the information in and then put used to it. Real talk. Yeah certainly is. How about you? Um, I'm sorry, your question again? Just like your overall experience, you know, being also I, a survivor sure. and also sharing the message um, as well. I've made a lot of friends, which mm -hmm. is interesting. Yeah. We have a new community. I live inside of a new community of really wonderful, loving people who really care about who they are and what they're doing on this earth. Um, so every day that I meet people and I talk to people about it and people who've lived, we have people who've lived 35 years mm -hmm. with a single kidney in our group. Wow. Uh, which is really was unheard of years ago and to watch somebody be that successful and to move forward in their life has really just enriched everybody um, who is uh, working in this area you know this we know that there's a positive outcome mm -hmm. we know that people are doing well so it just keeps moving us and driving us forward to just get the word out there please be a donor please you know, that's that's so important. And how can we be a donor? So most of us have smartphones, so the easiest way is to text. Oh, look at that. <laughs> text <laughs> Donate Life, all one word, to 313131, mm -hmm. and it will send you a prompt to go on and register. It's nice. that easy. And you guys will be at the Be More Healthy Yes, Expo. we'll be at the Expo. Yeah. Come yeah. by and see us. Yep. Yeah. You guys are doing such wonderful stuff. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You very much. And is there a website we can check out? Um, um, the website is donatelifemaryland.org, and you can get additional information there. And you can register there as well if you don't want to use your smartphone. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much. Oh, great conversation, welcome. great energy. I love it. Yeah, thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Absolutely, guys. So, up next, we'll show you the 